What's up everyone, I'm finally back. Hopefully the uh, microphone works and it's been um, one month away from home now. It's quite some time, I've got a new phone, so hopefully this uh, footage doesn't look too bad. Looks good on the camera, my jaw's looking okay. Um, but yeah, probably the most recent development would have been me going to the ER room last night, which is pretty, a uh, pretty funny story. So, ended up being a, um, you know, got up nine o'clock in the morning and uh, went to class, nothing too special, but a bit of a stomach pain and that was really it. And um, went to class, went there and figured, okay, this isn't too bad. And then the stomach pain started getting worse and worse. I thought, okay, I got, you know, I thought it was a stomach bug. So had something to eat, just try and settle it down maybe. And then had some water and then had some other stuff. And then the pain kept getting worse and worse. So I ended up just trying to lie down, uh, tried to vomit, tried to try to poo and just nothing would come out. So I got seriously concerned. You know, I had a feeling it was like, God, you know, if this is my appendix, then, um, you know, some serious trouble, especially here in America. So um, ended up calling the MSU registered nurses hotline. They, I told them the symptom, symptom, sorry. And they said, um, you should get to a, you should get to a, let me just switch hands for a second here. You should try to get to a, um, I'm going to change it back. There we go. You, you should get to a, uh, ER immediately. So that was not fun at all. Anyway, got an Uber, got to the ER and sat down, got into the, um, into the room after maybe an hour and a half wait. So fortunately it wasn't too bad. Actually, actually subsided after the phone call. Anyway, um, got into the doctor's room. He said, you know, first thing he said was like, have you had your appendix out? I said, no. So he said, all right, well, that's the first thing we're gonna check for right now. So he went through, started feeling my stomach. There was no, no pain straight away. Um, did some stuff with my leg to make sure there's nothing going on and said, yep, okay, well, it's not, it's not your appendix. So I was like, thank God, because that would have cost a, a fair bit, even with insurance. And um, so he was like, all right, well, we'll take an x-ray. Maybe there's something interior that's really stuffing you up and uh, that's really got it going. So took an x-ray, you know, he went off and developed it. Um, I'm sitting in the room by myself wondering, you know, what's going on? He comes back and said, well, um, you're literally full of poop. I'm like, what? I started laughing. He said, okay, well, I'll show you the x-ray. I went across and had a look at it. And then he's like, yep, see here, 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 and here. Um, that's all poo. So I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> so pretty much I just had to crap, which is a, um, a great sign. Thankfully, it's not um, my appendix. And he said, well, basically what happened was it was because I had one big meal for dinner and then didn't eat that much throughout the day and that my intestine was like, it got somewhat clogged. Um, and then from not having enough fluids as well. So, you know, I was drinking a fair bit of water, but um, obviously not enough to process it. And um, that's that. So... Um, I finally pooed, thank God, because I've had, yeah, it's been sitting there for God knows how long. And um, yeah, pretty funny story. I'm going to try and get the x-rays to um, take back home because it's a great, great story. Great story to tell everyone anyway. So um, that was my midweek trip to the emergency room. Nothing else too special happening over here. Just getting settled into classes, growing a beard out very, very slowly, hopefully. But um, yeah, just playing basketball and not much else is really happening. Very, very much settled in and um trying to get used to very processed food, eating a lot of salad, thankfully. And yeah, it's been a um, good experience so far. One month went pretty quick. There was the MLK day, um, which was quite significant. And then of course, there was a protest last night when I was, which I was going to go to for um, Donald Trump's ban on Muslims from seven different countries, which is just ludicrous. Um, but yeah, I didn't get to go since I was in an emergency room. So um, that's that. I'll try to get back to my vlogging um, as much as possible and see you guys in the next video.